What's up guys? I'm Jim Ansel from Real Deal Outdoors TV, and today we got a special pre-spawn edition of the juice for you guys. So we're gonna do things a little bit differently on this segment. Usually with the juice, what we do is we'll break down baits that are new to shopcarls.com. But in this segment, what we're gonna do is break down some of the tried and true baits that are gonna work best for you guys during the pre-spawn season. These are baits that you guys definitely wanna to add to your arsenal. So we understand throughout the country that the pre-spawn hits at different times. If it's not quite your time yet, make sure you bookmark this video so you can go Go back and check it out anyway guys let's jump right into it let's look at some of these pre-spawn baits so the first thing that we've got here is the guggen squad zinger so the zinger is a spinner bait and it's got this hand tied silicone skirt it's also got an ultra sharp must add hook and spinner baits guys are absolutely perfect for the pre-spawn what you've got happening here is you've got bass that are just starting to kind of warm up as the water temperatures warm up and they're putting the feed bag on to get ready for the spawn when they do that they're looking to eat bait fish so the zinger especially in this color this chartreuse white color it does a really good job of imitating a fleeing bait fish and with the color of this thing paired up with those flashing blades it just looks fantastic in the water you know during the pre-spawn season i really like like throwing spinner baits up in stand and timber I throw it up along docks I really like to target cover when I'm using spinner bait then pair this thing up with a swim bait trailer like maybe a biospawn exo swim and it's a deadly combination guys you throw this thing right up along the cover you keep it just below the surface and that's the perfect recipe for success during the pre-spawn you know spinner bait guys is just one of those things during the pre-spawn that you want to make sure you've got in your box and this guggen squad zinger is a really good option all right guys so the next lure that we've got here is a tried and true pre-spawn veteran this is the Red Eye Shad from Strike King. You know, you're gonna be hard pressed to find any anglers out there who don't have a lipless crankbait in their box during the pre-spawn. And the Strike King Red Eye Shad is a perfect option for you guys. Now this time of year, your best color picks are probably gonna be Rayburn Red and Delta Crawl. And the reason that is, is you've got these crawls that are just starting to wake up. They're starting to emerge from their winter hideouts. And the most common colors for them to be this time of year are those red colors. And you know, crawfish are one of the main things on a bass's menu this time of year when they're trying to beef up and get ready for that spawn. You know, lipless crankbaits really work well anywhere with a simple cast and retrieve technique. But if y'all really wanna maximize the effectiveness of this lure, you're gonna to wanna to rip this through grass. So the way you wanna fish around with this thing in early spring is to throw it around vegetation. And in order for you guys to do that more easily, you may wanna consider beefing up your rig. And what I mean by that is maybe go for a heavier rod. I use a seven foot four heavy action rod. It's a fate black from 13 fishing. And I'll also pair it up with heavier line. Typically I'll use like 30 pound braid. That'll give you guys the extra backbone that you need to rip that lure through the grass just a little bit more easily. All right guys, so the next thing that we're looking at here is this tungsten flipping jig from Heavy Metal Tungsten. So most anglers that I know guys, they've always got a rig that's got a jig tied on. It's ready to go year round. But during the pre-spawn, depending on what part of the country that you're in, your water levels can be really high, your water clarity can be really muddy, really murky, and that has a lot to do with the fact that you've got runoff from all this melting ice as well as spring rain. And guys, in muddy water situations like that, there aren't a lot of lures out there that are better for you to throw than a black and blue jig. So this heavy metal tungsten flipping jig is going to be perfect for you guys to throw around muddy, murky water when you're looking for that giant pre-spawn bass. Now, since this thing is made with tungsten, what you're gonna get is a more condensed jig head. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than your traditional lead heads, but it's gonna weigh the same. And one of the biggest benefits that you guys are gonna find when you're using tungsten is the increased sensitivity. You guys are gonna feel absolutely everything. You're gonna feel the bottom a lot better, you're gonna feel bites a lot better, and you're gonna feel cover a whole lot better. And really, to get right down to it, you guys, flipping a jig is some of the most fun that you'll ever have fishing. It's also some of the most rewarding fishing that you'll ever do. Now, in order for you guys to maximize the effectiveness of this thing, you really need to beef up your setup a little. I like to use either 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon or 30 to 50 pound braid. Then I'll pair that up with a six foot six to seven foot six, medium heavy to heavy power, fast action rod. That's gonna ensure that you get a rock solid hook set with this thing. All right, so the next lure that we're taking a look at here is the Rapala X-Wrap. Now the X-Wrap has been around for a long time and it's one of those best of both worlds kind of baits for the pre-spawn. You can throw this lure in a couple of different situations. You got times where the bass are looking for a faster moving bait. 
this thing is going to be perfect for that. You know, a lot of times during the pre-spawn bass get real aggressive, they're looking for those fast darting bait fish. If you use a faster jerk jerk pause cadence with this lure, it's going to dart back and forth. It's going to look perfect, man. It's going to look exactly like those darting bait fish that those bass are trying to key in on. But as that bite starts to slow down, this lure can still shine for you guys. You can slow that retrieve way down. You can have longer pauses, shorter twitches, and this lure is still going to move back and forth and it's going to look fantastic. It's just going to hang a lot longer in the strike zone. So even as the bass's mood changes throughout the day during the pre-spawn, you can catch bass with this lure. Now between this lure's textured translucent body, that 3D holographic eye, and those black nickel VMC hooks, this thing is going to become an absolute staple for you guys during the pre-spawn. All right, we've got one more lure to look at here today. This is a brand new lure from 13 Fishing. It's called the Cliff Banger. So the Cliff Banger is a deeper diving crankbait. And we know that during the pre-spawn bass, they're starting to make that transition up to the shallows. Not all of them have made it quite there yet though. There's still some bass that are hanging out down deep and feeding. So you're gonna wanna have something in your arsenal to be able to reach those deeper bass. That's where the cliff banger comes in, guys. It dives to right around eight feet. That's gonna make it perfect for you guys to locate those schooling bass that are feeding up and getting ready for the spawn. Now, a great place for you guys to start with this lure, you need to look for channels, you need to look for grass lines, you need to look for those transitions areas where bass are going to be congregating this time of year. It's going to be the perfect lure for you guys to pick off bass when they're looking for a drive through meal as they're trading back and forth between the deeper water and the shallows. Now guys, a deeper diving crankbait like this is also going to make the perfect search bait. If you're looking to cover a lot of water really fast, this is a bait that you want to throw. Now finally guys, if you're looking to get the maximum effectiveness out of the cliff banger, you're going to want to throw this on a 7 foot 3 medium heavy power rod. That's going to give you guys the distance that you're looking for, but it's also going to make sure that you get a nice buttery hook set. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up our first special edition episode of The Juice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different from the way that we usually do this. Let us know down in the comments, guys. Did you enjoy this video? Tell us what your favorite lure was out of this episode. We really enjoy reading all the comments, guys. I love the interaction. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Then if you haven't already, guys, head down there, subscribe to the Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. That's going to help you stay up to date with all the new content that Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's Bait and Tackle releases. Finally, guys, if you really enjoyed the video, make sure and head over and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Real Deal Outdoors TV. We're going to drop the link for you guys right down in the description. Well, I hope you all have the best of luck during your pre-spawn season. I hope this video helped you guys out. As always, thank you all for watching and tight lines until next time.